Hi, I'm Rebecca Witches, and this section is on your feet, how to strengthen them, stretch them, work with them. So we're going to start with the stretches, although it really doesn't matter which one you do first. Um, stretching your feet has to do with getting a stretcher most likely, unless you have a favorite family or other person to actually push down on them for you. This is an old-fashioned foot stretcher that my foot is in right now. You would put it in, let it stretch for a while, change it out, and put the other foot in. It's not difficult. Remember, you can do this anywhere, in your living room, in your bedroom. You don't have to get this one. There's lots of varieties. They all work. And all I'm doing now is stretching the top of my feet and my metatarsal. So, you can do that first, or you can do it after the strengthening, which is now what we're going to do. For the strengthening, you need a TheraBand. Any color. If your feet are weak, I would start with the lighter colors, like yellow or green. This one's a medium strength one. The really difficult ones are gray and black. They're not expensive. They're $4 at an exercise store. And let's start with your right foot. So, you're going to wrap it around about three feet of it. I've got more, but you only need about three feet. You're going to flex your foot and uh, apply tension to it. All right. Then you're going to push through the ball of your feet with your toes still relaxed or up. And then you're going to try to push down one toe at a time and return. I need to adjust this. So it wraps around your toes. So you're going to push in one, two, three, four, five, and then back one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to do it around 12 times. So here's number two. And see how slowly we're going. And push through number three. And come back. Flex. Now, it really doesn't matter how flexible your feet are. They have to start somewhere. So you might get more or less motion out of it. Four. Come back. So we're doing it in a certain way. You'll notice my toe, big toe, is over my knee, and my knee is facing the ceiling. Another. I think we're on six. And seven. Make sure you push all the way through every time. Eight. That means through the toes. Ball. Heel. Nine, little toe through to the big toe, big toe back. Ten, and back. Eleven, and come back. One more, and twelve, and back. I would do a minimum of twelve. You could just follow the video every time and then change feet. Then we're going to do the other side. So you'll start flexed again. You're going to try to articulate your toes a little too big, and you'll notice I'm trying to keep my toes straight. And come back. And two. So the thing here is, if you're really working hard, and three, which I hope you are, come back, you might cramp. What do you do? Four, you stop. And back. Get rid of the cramp by stretching. Five, make sure you're drinking enough water. And back. And six. But most likely the cramp is going to just going to be due to weakness. Come back. And seven. And come back. And eight. Back and every time, little to big, reverse, big to little, and then the ball. Nine and again, ten. How are we doing? I hope it's not cramping. If it is, just stretch it out. Eleven and one more, minimum. 12, and rest. So, 
Then take your feet for a minute and try to widen out the toes, stretching them straight. You have to realize you have as many neurons in your toes as you do your hands, so the ability for them to articulate is very high. So you just have to work on it. So you widen them and then you relax, and then you widen them and then you relax. You try to keep them straight. If you can look there, all of my toes, all five of them are nice and straight. I mean, they have their little angles, but they're not bunched up, all right? All right. So, after you've done that a few times, open and close, open and close. You wanna push down. You can do one foot at a time, might be easier on you. And try to slide back with the straight toes. So, see how I'm pushing now down the arch of the toe is on the floor. And then you go do it again. You can even do it one, two, three, four, five. Push down, slide back. And then again, press down, slide back. One more. And press down, one, two, three, four, five. Use your hands if you need to, if it just won't cooperate. And pull back. Then we'll do the left, same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Push down and slide back. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Push down, slide back. So no bunched up toes, no bent toes. Push down into the floor, go back, and one more time. Now, I sit because it's easiest to sit. You wanna stand up and try it, because that's easier, you're welcome to. So there we have it. Now we're gonna work on just our big toe, starting with the right foot. So you wanna slide it over that big toe only. The big toe has its own muscle. Point the toe all the way to the ball of the foot, but not the toes. Now, I'm just working the big toe. If the other toes come along for the ride, that's fine. You don't have to isolate it, but you're just going to push that big toe down towards the floor, flat, and up, and again, two, and up, and again, three, and up, and again, four, and up, five, and up, six, and up, seven, and up, eight, and up, nine, push, push, push. And up, you should feel it in the back. Ten. Push, push, push. Eleven. If it feels too easy, you can apply more force. And twelve. Minimum. Other side. Again, you're trying to isolate that big toe muscle and strengthen it. When you cramp up, just re release it, stretch it out, start again. Starting with one, here we go, the left side. One, push down. And two, push down. And three. So the big toe is actually pushing down towards the floor. And four. And five. I've been working on my feet for many, many, many years, six. So if it looks easy, it's just an accumulation of practice. Seven, which is what you want to do. And eight. And nine. And you're watching what you're doing, of course. Ten. You're listening to me, hopefully. And eleven. And one more. Twelve. So you have twelve. Both sides. And flex your feet as necessary so you can stretch your calf muscle out. So now we're going to do our ankles. First, we're going to do eversion, which means we're going to go out this direction, and that's going to contract the very side of your leg. But you're going to start in a sickled but pointed position, and then you're going to reverse and push once. You see that I'm pulling in the opposite direction. And in. And two, so why are we doing this? And we're strengthening our ankles. Four, three, excuse me, never could count. And 
four, and five, and six. You're really firing, firing right along the side of your legs. Seven, and eight. So you're looking for incremental, incremental improvements. Nine, not gigantic ones. And 10, and 11, one more, and 12. And you will see them if you do this regularly. I would recommend it three times a week to start. Other side, here we go, giving it some pressure. And here we go out, one. Now the leg you'll notice is not moving, it's just from the ankle down, two. Three, so you want to try to hold this with the knee straight up. Four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And Ten, two more, eleven, last one, trying to hold on to that leg, twelve. Now, even though dance is done with the foot pointed and winging out slightly, we're going to do the other way because we want those ankles to be very strong to be able to help us balance. So, this time, we're going to start out here and we're going to go in towards our center. Also 12. So we're going to go in now. One, intentionally what we call sickling. And two. And three. And four. And a five. So you're pointed again, but you're going in towards the center of the body. Six. And seven. And eight. And nine. Again, ten. Two more. Eleven. See, now my leg is not moving at all. Just my ankle down. Twelve. So check that every once in a while. Other leg. Again, we're starting out. Sometimes you can do this, that'll help the pressure. Let's try it that way on this side. And in one, and out, and two, and out, and three, and four, and five, going out, and six. And seven and eight and nine ten eleven one more and twelve. So out of the bands. Without the band for a minute, we're gonna do something called doming. So you're gonna start flat. Remember, we're trying to keep our toes nice and long and on the floor. And then what we're gonna do once they're flattened down is we're gonna pick up from here. So it's domed underneath. It's contracting underneath your feet. Keep your heel on the floor and the base of your toes on the floor without crunching. And then you're gonna stretch them out. And you're gonna dome. And again, you're gonna stretch them out. You wanna to try to get both sides up. And you're gonna dome. And stretch out. And dome. So then you'll do your other leg also. Flatten it out, your other foot I should say. And go up, so you're creating space. And out. And up. 
and out, and up, and out, and one more, and up, and out. Now, the last thing, which you don't have to do right now, but it might help, is try picking something up with your toes. So let's say it's the band. Since it's here, I'm going to try to grab that band and pick it up. Yeah? Or it can be a small little item like an earring or a part of a game set, a board game. Or another thing you can do, this isn't a towel, but you could take a, a thin like washcloth and scoot it towards you. This is kind of sticky, so it's going to be a lot harder than a washcloth, which would just slide underneath you. And then do you see how it's going further and further underneath my foot? So that's what you want to do, and you would do that with both feet. So let's try the left. And again, you should have a washcloth that's much easier than this. And pull, 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 and keep pulling towards your heel, toe working, foot working. This really gets some strength into your feet. So, once that's done, you're pretty much done for the foot section. Remember, you just need a TheraBand and any number of foot stretchers or a person who can actually push down on your feet just to stretch them. And that's it to keep your feet in good shape. Thank you.